This video explains the creation process of questions. Any question can be created both in the test creation process and through question pools. You may navigate to the question pools in the tests, decide whether you want to create a question for an existing question pool or create a new one. Let's create a question in some of the existing question pools. Navigate to the questions panel and click on the add question button. By hovering over the options, you will see an example of what this question can look like. Your testament Get Certified supports 10 question types, single choice, multiple choice, essay, ordering, fill in the blanks, true or false, matching, matrix, open-ended, and hotspot questions. If you want to learn more about them, you can check out some of our other instructional videos. Let's create a single choice question. At the top of the window, you can set the number of points for the correctly answered question, whether there is a penalty for wrongly answering it, decide the difficulty level, and define the time to answer the question. Now it's time to write a question text in this field and the answers the candidates can choose from. There are three scoring methods for this question type. First, you can define correct and incorrect answers, of which only one can be correct and only one selected by the candidate, as the name of this question type indicates. See, the correct answer must be selected during the question creation process. Therefore, a candidate will obtain points only if he chooses the correct answer. If you choose the manual grading option, the test manager or instructor should grade each question manually after finishing the test. Branching is an optional feature that allows you to add a follow-up question to each answer in the original question. Check the box to enable branching and look at the first step again. By selecting the option Show Structure, you can examine the diagram showing the relationship between question branches and answers. You can add tags to your question, filtering out the specific question when searching for it. If you want to connect this question with some external system, add an external ID. In the generator settings, you can decide the difficulty of this question and its frequency in the test. They are applied when the test is created using a test generator. Under that, we have some additional settings for adding multimedia to your question. Choose existing multimedia from the application library or add a new one. When creating a new one, give it a name and a description, choose if others can use it for test creation and what type of media it is. You can create versions of this question in different languages. Click on Add Translation, choose a language from the drop-down list, and type the question text and answers in the selected language. Students will be displayed with a question in their chosen language, which they define in their account settings. By clicking on these three dots, you can include other attachments in your questions, such as formulas, question feedback, upload an attachment, and have an editor for formatting. Moreover, you can also add assistance. If the candidate chooses to use the assistance, a penalty will be applied to the question score. If you define the assistance to the question where the branching is allowed, the branching option will be disabled. One of the assistances is called additional time. It enables candidates to use the additional time to answer a question. By adding hint, you can give the candidate a hint to the answer. During the test creation process, several more possibilities affect question settings. Enable so-called I don't know answers so candidates can avoid negative points. Let's now log in as a student to present the candidate's perspective of the test taking process. Up here, there is a countdown timer for this question. The candidate can open each multimedia file contained in the question. Down here, there are assistance options and penalty points they carry, 